Hey guys, Miss Linda here. I'm glad that you guys have been watching and hopefully enjoying our puppet volunteers uh, demonstration of Julius Caesar. Uh, we left off with Act 2, Part 1 a couple weeks ago, and due to pre-production mishaps, we were held back, but we are coming back strong with Act 2, uh, part two, and it promises to be our best pr uh, part of the production of Julius Caesar yet. Uh, the camera angle is great, the lighting is fantastic, everyone's lines were spot on, and... Oh, one second, one second. Yeah, Ron, what's up? Okay, you're in post-production right now? There's something wrong with the camera. We zoomed in too much and blocked out the actors on stage right. You can't see them at all. Okay, no, no, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. No, it's good. It's good. Okay. Can you fix it? You can't. Cool. 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 No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, no. So chill. Very. No. Cool. 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 It's a grainy mess. Okay. Great. Great. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Bye, Ron. Thanks for the call. Bye. <sighs> Whew. And look, here's Publius, come to fetch me. Like, good morning, Caesar. Welcome, Publius. What, Brutus? Are you up this early too? Good morning, Casca, Caius Ligarius. I was never your enemy so much as the sickness that's made you so thin. You're like real skinny, bro. What time is it? Caesar, the clock has struck eight, whoa. I thank you for all your trouble and courtesy. See, even Antony, who stays up all night partying, so lit, is awake. Good morning, Antonio. Antony. And to you, most noble Caesar. Tell them to prepare the other room for guests. I'm to blame for making you wait for me. Now, Cinna, now Metellus, Trebonius. I have an hour-long hour matter to discuss with you. Remember to see me today. Stay near me, so I'll remember. Caesar, I will. In fact, I'll be so near that your best friends will wish I'd been further away, because I'm that brutal. Good friends, go in and have some wine with me, and we'll leave together like friends. That we are now. Only like friends. Oh, Caesar makes my heartache. Whoa. Caesar, beware of Brutus. Watch Cassius. Don't go near Casca. Keep an eye on Cinna. Don't trust Trebonius. Pay attention to Metellus Cimber. Decius Brutus doesn't love you. You've wronged Caius Lagardius. These men all have one intention, and it's directed against Caesar. If you aren't immortal, watch those around you. A sense of security opens the door to conspiracy. I pray that the mighty gods defend you. Your friend, Artemidorius. I'll stand here until Caesar passes by, and I'll give him this, as though it's a petition. My heart regrets that good men aren't safe from the bite of jealous rivals. If you read this, Caesar, you might live. If not, the fates are on the side of the traitors. Boy, I beg you to run to the Senate House. Don't say to answer me. Get going. Why are you still standing there? Uh, to find out what you want me to do there, madam. I want 
you there and back again before I can even tell you what you should do there. Oh, let my determination keep me from speaking what is in my heart. I have a man's mind, but only a woman's strength. Oh my god, this is like the worst thing ever. Brittany, just keep going. Fine. How hard it is for women to keep secrets. Dara, are you still here? Madam, what should I do? Run to the capital and nothing else? And then return to you and nothing else? <gasps> yes! Return and tell me if your master looks well because he was sick when he left. And pay attention to what Caesar does. That which men are close to him. Listen, boy. What's that noise? I don't hear anything, madam. <laughs> I beg you, listen well. I heard a noise like a scuffle. The wind brings it from the capital. Truly, madam, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Come here, you. Where are you coming from? My own house, good lady. What time is it? Around nine o'clock, madam. Has Caesar gone to the capital yet? Madam, not yet. I'm going to stand so I can see him pass on the way to the capital. You have some plea for Caesar, don't you? Yes, I do, lady. If it pleases Caesar to be so good to himself as to hear me, I'll try to get him to do what's good for him. Why? Do you know of any harm intended toward him? Nothing that I know for sure, but a lot of... That I'm afraid might happen. Good morning to you. The street is narrow here. The crowd that follows Caesar at his heels. Senators. Justices. Common petitioners. Will suffocate a feeble man almost to death. I'll move to a more open place. And there, speak to great Caesar as he walks past. I must go in. Oh, a woman's heart is so weak. Oh, my. Can she just stop? Can I just stop being Portia? No, you cannot just stop being Portia. You will finish this right now. Okay. Oh, Brutus, may the gods aid you in your endeavor. Surely the boy heard me. Brutus has a claim that Caesar won't grant. Oh, I feel faint. Run, Lucius, and speak well of me to my lord. Say that I'm happy, then return to me and tell me what he says to you. For right now, it's Brutus and Caesar. Caesar, Tiffany, Caesar, Brutus. Does it, do I need to change arms then? And Trevor has a hat. Yes. No, no! that's Tiffany! <laughs> Dave. Three, mm -hmm. two, one. No! Intention, and it's directed against Caesar. If you aren't immortal, watch those around you. A sense of security opens the door to conspiracy. I pray that the mighty- If you read this Caesar, you might live. If not, the fates are on the side of the traitors.